जनरल डिक्टेशन एट द स्पीड ऑफ नाइन्टी टू हंड्रेड वर्ड्स पर मिनट बी रेडी स्टार्ट सर द प्रेजेंट पैटर्न ऑप्टेनिंग इन द एजुकेशनल सिस्टम ऑफ आवर कंट्री इज लाइक दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड द प्री प्राइमरी स्टेज और द नर्सरी स्कूल देन कम्स द प्राइमरी स्टेज एंड देन कम्स द हायर एलिमेंट्री स्कूल्स एंड देन द थ्री ईयर्स एजुकेशन इन द हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल्स दिस हायर सेकेंडरी सिस्टम has been formed by the addition of one year to the high school system or by taking away one year from the intermediate side and adding it to this side the university course took four years two years for the intermediate and 2 years for the degree course out of this 1 year of the intermediate course was taken away and added to the higher secondary system this is the system that came into existence the higher secondary system reduces the university course to 3 years and the intermediate course is abolished the intermediate colleges as they were called were converted into pre university course colleges this pre university course comes after the student has passed the Three year higher secondary course. This is the system obtaining now. Now let us see the objects of this resolution. This change has brought in its wake certain defects and disadvantages. Let me point out these disadvantages. either in the pre university system or in the higher secondary system taking of the higher secondary system i would like to say that certain schools were simply upgraded to higher secondary schools by tagging on one year of the university course to the existing course there arose the question of equipment necessary for such a course which may not have been there in many of the schools i know of a number of schools which were unfit to teach the university course of one year but still sanctions have been given for converting the secondary schools into higher secondary there has not been sufficient equipment especially for science laboratories etc nor have there been enough of teachers capable of teaching the one year university course this according to me is a very great and serious disadvantage especially to the boys coming from the rural areas who have not had sufficient grounding in the various stages of their school education the higher secondary or the pre university course is a gateway 
unless he crosses that he cannot go over to any technical course or to the university madam what i feel is that there is a sudden rise in standard whether it be the pre university stage or the higher secondary stage in this stage suddenly pupils are asked to keep sorry to give essay type of answers whereas in the secondary school stage it is only filling up of the gaps or words or phrases are to be given for a proper pass and this is all compressed in one year there is an enormous stepping up so far as the subjects are concerned and on top of it the whole thing has been compressed into one year it may be all right madam for students coming from the educated classes or the upper urban classes where the grounding has been quite good not only they are educated in school their knowledge is further supplemented by the tutorial system by parents and others in the house so even if the course is compressed into one year they can probably follow they can manage but the students coming from the rural areas who have no grounding whatsoever find it extraordinarily difficult to cope up with this pre university or the higher secondary system of education i can also show by figures how awful wastage has been there in this pre university system the duration of courses of only 180 days is insufficient to enable him to assimilate whatever is taught to him even lectures he is not able to absorb and assimilate after all if education is not absorbed and assimilated it serves no purpose it is a different thing that he gets a pass but subsequently in life in technical courses he finds a lot of difficulty madam i happen to be in charge of a certain hostel where students seeking university education from the rural areas have been given a dominant place where free feeding is done the hostel is situated in bangalore city and we find that not even 1% pass out completely in any year ever since this pre university course has been introduced i think it was introduced in 2006 7 ever since that time the students have been finding it difficult to pass madam i have been managing this hostel since 2000 in the intermediate system somehow because it was a two year period 
they slowly and steadily learned something absorbed and assimilated something in the intermediate system there was a possibility for the science students to conduct experiments but in the pre university stage no chance seems to be given to the students to conduct experiments either in the physics or chemistry thank you so much